Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an outline around any design in Cricut Design Space. Cricut Design Space now has an offset feature that makes this really easy. In the past, you had to use a separate program to do this, but it is so much more convenient now that it's all right there in Cricut Design Space. You can use this feature to create any size outline around text or an image, and this is how you're gonna get that really nice sticker effect on your designs. I'll also show you some ways to layer the vinyl together once you get it cut. Let's do it! First, you need to upload the image you're using into Cricut Design Space. Remove the background if necessary and insert the cut file into your canvas. I'm changing the color of mine to red. To create the outline, you're going to be using this offset button in the top toolbar. This menu will pop up with a slider for the thickness of your outline or you can manually enter a measurement and you can also choose if you want the edges to be rounded or pointed. You can also offset in the opposite direction to create an inner cutout instead of an outer outline. Once your outline looks how you want it, you can click Apply. I'm going to change mine to white. And as you can see in the layer menu on the right, the offset is now a second cut layer. If I separate them, you can see that they are two separate layers. If you want to do this with text or something that isn't a solid image like my maple leaf, you might have some holes inside that look something like this. And if you want to keep them like that, that's totally fine. But if you want to have a fully solid background behind your text, you can click on contour in the bottom right corner and click on those inner cutouts, which will merge everything into one piece. And again, you've got two separate cutting layers here. Make sure you resize your image to whatever size you need to cut, and then you can go ahead and click make it. If you made your layers two different colors, they will automatically organize onto two separate cutting mats. Then you can set your cut material to vinyl or whatever it is you're using and cut out your two layers. Once you have your layers cut out, you need to layer them on top of each other. I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. The first way is to layer them together with your transfer tape before applying them to your surface. Once you've weeded the excess vinyl from each of your layers, Cut a piece of transfer tape the size of your biggest layer, and it's also helpful to cut a piece of parchment paper roughly the size of your design. I like to stick my bottom layer onto my cutting mat to hold it in place and to keep the edges from curling up. Then you're going to use your transfer tape to pick up the top layer. If you're doing more than two layers, it would be the layer that is second from the very bottom, and you just keep following this step, working your way up to the top layer. And this part isn't necessary, but it does make it much easier. You can stick that top layer onto your piece of parchment paper, leaving just a small part of the design exposed. When you put the top layer onto the bottom layer, you should be able to see through the parchment paper so that you can slide it around and find where they line up perfectly. And once you're happy with how they line up, you can carefully stick that exposed area onto the bottom layer and then gently remove the parchment paper and apply the rest of the design. And now you've got both pieces on your transfer tape and you can apply it to your surface as one sticker. The second way you can layer your vinyl is almost the same, but once you've weeded your design, you can start by sticking that bottom layer right onto your surface. Then you can use transfer tape to pick up your next layer and layer it on top directly on the surface itself. The outcome is the same, but depending on the design you're doing and the materials you're using, you might find one method easier than the other. And this is my final product. I made this wooden sign for my in-laws cottage, nice and simple, but the white outline really takes it up a notch. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. See you later.